Hi uh, everyone, this is Haley Master Healer coming to you guys with a quick reading on of um on Doja Cat. Um right now a lot of people are looking at her, you know, we see that she shave her head. Um if you guys notice a lot of times in show business, a lot of these young entertainers, especially the female ones, you know, when they're going through different situations and things in their life and stuff, one of the first signs that they love to shave their head. You see that with Britney Spears back in the day, you see that with Lauren Hill, you see that with um Kerry Hilson, you see that with um, Keisha Cole, you see that with a lot of entertainers, you see they always go through that whenever they, they're going through um, thing. Even um, you see that with Tamar Braxton also too, you see that with a lot of people that I have noticed in the show business over the years. A lot of them who, who've been through a lot of different things that they um, end up shaving their head now. So, is she under spiritual attack? Is she under witchcraft? And I mean, so if you guys want to know, head over and we can talk about that, you know, definitely. Um, one of the biggest things I see for Doja Cat is that um, she needs to stop studying what people think, what people say about her. Um, that's a liberal trait with a lot of um, liberals. You see that, uh, especially with a lot of, like Cardi B. You see that a lot of these liberal um, entertainers and stuff. They study what people think. A lot of them they say they don't, they don't study, but they, they read all the comments and they will react, you know, because they can be very sensitive, you know. And um, some of them don't like to be challenged sometimes. So sometimes it doesn't want to hear the truth, you know, especially for my liberal females. But what, when I see with Doja Cat also too, you see that the last um, scandal that happened with her um, last month or month before, when when the young guy did um, leak a text message when she was trying to holler at the dude, um, I can see that she she was really embarrassed about that. She studied what people don't think. That really kind of humiliated her also too. I see that for sure. Um, also too, when I look at her, right now i am not seeing anything as witchcraft with her and as i always tell you guys um i call it for what it is when i see it i don't see any witchcraft what i'm seeing this young lady is burnt out she's tired she's been through a lot i see she's grieving from certain things also too but the good thing about it is that um she'll be okay you know she'll be okay if she have the right people around her and if she listen because you know sometimes um my lovely liberal females, you know, some of them might think they know everything. Sometimes they just want to listen. They think they know it all. They think they're smarter than everyone sometimes. So if she humble herself, and um, I see that if she circle, have the right people around her, things will work out for her, you know. But I don't see any kind of spiritual witchcraft or anybody trying to spiritually cancel her. Yes. Is she getting attacked spiritually at times? Yes. But um, eventually she will have to... Um, protect herself spiritually along the way because any entertainer out there you'll be a fool not to spiritually protect yourself a lot of people you see them um, shopping buying jewelry buying this and that but when I look at them um, a lot of them don't have any proper um, spiritual protection and a lot of them will need that in, in order to be protected because remember as long as you're an entertainer whether it's um, a business person or anything like that and you're making moves in life your enemies will always come for you. Everybody have enemies. You understand what I'm saying? Now, if you're in the spiritual business, we're going to have spiritual enemies. Spiritual other people will be with enemies. If you're in the entertainment industry, you're going to have other females going to be hating on you. Want to see you fail. Want to see you fall. It's just life. You understand what I'm saying? You're a hairdresser. You're a barber. Your name ringing, other barbers going to be hating you. Other hairdressers going to be hating on you. Um, he's a big doctor. Your name ringing, what with it? Other doctors going to be hating jealousy. It's just life. In sports, same thing. It happens a lot of times. You guys, you see that in female tennis, same thing also too. Um, but when coming to Doja Cat, I see that, um, I don't know if she have a puppy, but I see that she need to get one. And I mean, spray to show me that she need to get a puppy. That will help also too. Um, things. So if she have one, she will need to get the next one. So she will need to get two puppies, you know. So I do not know, but that is what, uh, that is what the, um, what I'm getting here for her. Um, also, I see new love for her also too. New love is going to come in for her um definitely and um she'll be okay but long as she take care of her mental health you know what i'm saying now because everybody mental health right now need to be guarded we need to protect all our mental health because um when you notice right now just not just here just around the world especially we, uh, a lot of us been locked down for like over two years a year and a half um this covid lockdown really really did a job on a lot of us a lot of people um, going through a lot of mental um, problems, you know what I'm saying, and it's bad, especially in our community, in the black community, it's, it, it's bad, you know what I'm saying, it's very, very bad, and a lot of us are not going to get the help 
to take care of our mental health. But um, when coming to this young lady, as I say, um, I see good things ahead for her, but also too, she have to be careful of her enemies. Um, I see that someone will try to betray her. And she have to be careful. She have to pay attention, stay grounded. And um, especially the young ladies, um, entertainers, anyone, don't do any showbiz or anything, and always be careful where you're drinking, where you're taking from people. Be careful who handing you certain stuff. You always want to have your, your main crew, you know, to take um, stuff from and who are eating from and things like that. But um, this young lady, um, Doja Cat, should be okay, you know. Let's send positive energy for her. You don't have to laugh and, and stuff like that. She's just going through a phase right now. Um, most people, entertainers, will go through that. See that with a lot of entertainers before in the past. And um, she will she'll be okay, you know. And uh, and long as she stops worrying about what people say about her and, and, and don't study the blogs, don't don't study that, just be herself, she'll be okay. And she's young, you know. Young liberals always go through that phase. When I was a young uh, man, back in the day, I just study what people would think. But, you know, as, as the time gets older, when you reach over 30 and stuff, you don't care one fuck about what, what people think. You understand? You're just living your life. As long as nobody's not really making a push, not coming to attack you. If somebody trying to um, mess with your money, um, things like that, or somebody trying to um, mess with your reputation, well, then you have to go after them and crush them like a cockroach, you know? I always believe in that. You know, you don't stop until they crush them. Um, but other than that, she, she'll be just fine. New love for her. As long as she stay grounded. New music for her head. Um, I see that. I see that she'll be moving... Um, maybe moving like um like to, to for, for work you know like maybe she might get like a gig maybe somebody uh, I don't know if she's acting or anything like that but I see like she will have to move somewhere temporary in order to um to do some type of work so maybe she can get a gig in acting or something like that but um definitely um thing so I see that she'll move like in a temporary um house or something like that but um she will be just fine you know so I just want to um, let you guys know I don't see any spiritual attack um anything like that but she just after this um stand up in ground she have to be careful watch her surroundings and i mean you know, don't trust people don't be too naive and plus she's very intuitive you know she's not she's she's a very smart young lady you know she's gifted she have something in her that is different that is why she's very unique you know and um she's going through that phase right now you know and um i let's send positive energy for her. and i hate to see um, other people laughing and laughing at her seeing negative stuff and at the end of the day listen you know we all have to look out for each other because some point in time someone of us family or, or children or daughter or son somebody is going to be going through something like what do jacquard might be going through so but she'll be just fine so peace love and blessings man that's a quick one um for do jacquard and we're sending healing energy for her and um, we want to see her win and just like all the other young ladies out there who are going through whatever phase that they're going through in their life you know because i don't want to put the, the woman business out there. i could go into a lot of stuff and and really see a lot of stuff but that's not me you guys know we don't say anything over here so um thank you for all the new subscribers and um guys peace love and blessings like subscribe share and um we'll hear more from you so